Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can clone a virtual machine instead of creating a new one from scratch. Let's begin. Here, I will show you different methods on how you can clone your virtual machine. So first, what we will do is to copy the files of our existing um, VM. So let's go to the folder and go to the vmware folder location and let's say for example we want to clone uh, one of our vms so let's say server 3 um, bell race toolkit so let's go to that folder what you can do is to select all the files um, Control a and then copy and then let's go back to the main folder and let's create a new folder so let's say SRV3 Bell Race Toolkit. We name it as clone per se. Yeah. So let's go to that folder and then paste everything here. The one that we copied from the original um, virtual machine folder. So let's paste it here. So as you can see, it's now copying the files, everything into the new folder. We name it as dash clone. In my case, it will take about one minute or two. It's still, you know, more faster compared to creating a new virtual machine, um, like a, a brand new virtual machine. Okay, it's completed. So, so let's go to the uh, main folder and let's go back to the clone folder. And as you can see, everything has been copied in here, right? So the next is to go to your workstation and then click on file open and then go to the folder location of our vm and let's find the srv3 clone folder and let's click on the dot vmx and then open and then start up this guest operating system and if you don't know answer i copied it so let's select i copied it and let's wait to boot up the uh, clone virtual machine this is a full clone um, virtual machine now it's booting up okay um, and then let's uh, log in using the username and let's see if everything is working yes i'm in so this is the virtual machine that we clone from the original virtual machine. So let's see if we can go out to the internet. So let's do a dig, google.com. Yep, we are getting a response from the uh, public resolver. It means that we can go out to the internet. We have successfully cloned a virtual machine. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna stop the virtual machine and I'm gonna delete the uh, the uh, clone um, vm so let's right click removed and then delete from disk it will delete the actual folder from our vmware um directory so let's say delete from disk and yes and if we go back to the main folder vmware and we, we look for the srv3 as you can see, the SRV3 with the dash clone has been removed. The next method that I'm going to show you is to use the clone within the VMware workstation. So let's say, for example, we want to clone a Windows 10 virtual machine. So right click and then click on manage and then clone. Then click on next. So let's choose the uh, the current state in the virtual machine the option one and then click next and then we can choose uh, two option here the clone type so first is the create a link clone versus creating a full clone so the uh, link clone is just a reference to the original virtual machine so it's like the this windows 10-a is the parent virtual machine and then the one that we are going to use is to link clone 
like a child of this parent virtual machine, which is the Windows 10 A. So this allows you to save disk space. So let's click next and then let's leave it as is clone of Windows 10 A as the name. And then you can change the location of your clone virtual machine. So I'm going to leave it as default here. So click on next and then finished. As you can see, it's very quick and we are already completed the cloning of the virtual machine. So let's close this one and we can play the uh, um, guest operating system, the clone of Windows 10 A. And let's wait for it to boot up. And let's wait for a few seconds here. Now the Windows 10 has been boot up. So this is now our clone Windows 10 operating system. The process was very quick, easy, and very straightforward. However, if you delete the parent um, virtual machine, which is this one, if you delete this one, then you will, you will not able to start up the clone uh, Windows 10 operating system. The Windows 10-A, which is the parent virtual machine, should always be there. Do not delete this. Uh, please note on this one. Let's have another example. So let's uh, do a clone for SRV3. Let's click on Manage and then Clone. And let's do another Link Clone. Uh, let's choose the first option, which is the Link Clone. Next, then Next, and then Finish. It's very quick. We are done cloning the uh, virtual machine. Let's close this one and then let's start up this guest operating system and let's do some verification. Okay, it's uh, booting up now. Let's wait to uh, show us the login prompt. Okay, now it's showing the login prompt. Let's log in using our username, Belrace Toolkit, and then the password here and enter then IPA. So this is the IP address 192.168.50.32, or you can also do this hostname minus I, and you can see the actual IP address. So let's do a DNS lookup. So let's do a NS lookup cnn.com. As you can see, we are getting a response from our DNS resolver. So it means we can go out to the internet. If you ping cnn.com, we are getting a response. Do not delete the parent virtual machine, which is in this case, the SRV Belrace Toolkit. So this is the name of the link clone of server three Belrace Toolkit. And if we try to delete the, the parent domain, let's do that. Let's try deleting the parent virtual machine. So removed, and it will warn you that this is irreversible. So be very careful on this one, but just to show you, uh, what's going to happen if we try deleting the parent uh, virtual machine. So if we click the delete from disk, it will pop up a new warning. So it says here, deleting this virtual machine will destroy the link virtual machine and you will no longer be able to use them. It means if we click on yes, then the clone, then this clone's uh, virtual machine will not work after that. Yeah, so I'm not going to do that. Let's click on no. I'm going to stop this virtual machine. Shut down guest. And I'm going to delete this. So right click and then remove and then delete from disk. Yes, it's no longer in our hard disk. So another example is to show you the full clone similar to what we did in the first method. So if you want to do a full clone, just right click and then manage and then clone next next and then choose the second option which is create a full clone so create a full clone is the exact full replica of the virtual machine so a lot of files need to be copied to the new virtual machine it will take some time to finish the cloning depending on the size of the original virtual machine so let's do that so click next and I'm going to leave it as is. Um, it's up to you if you want to change the name and the location of the clone virtual machine. So click on next, finish, and it will start, you know, cloning the virtual machine.
like a full clone. So let's wait for a few minutes here to finish the cloning. Now it's completed. So even though it's a full clone, it's still faster compared to creating a new virtual machine, like a brand new virtual machine. Then let's close this one and let's start up the guest operating system, which is the clone server. It's booting up now. Now we have a login screen. So let's enter the username, Belray's Toki, the password. Okay, we're in. Hostname minus I, which is to get the IP address. So we have the IP address dot thirty two, and then let's do a verification. Dig Facebook dot com, and see if we could get a response from the DNS resolver. Yes, so it means we can go out to the internet. That's all for now. Thank you. <laughs>